exciting. All right. Welcome everyone to today's conversation. My name is Vanessa Simpkins. Welcome to this Radical Intimacy podcast series. Today, you guys are in for a treat. I have two phenomenal guests, Kendra Duquette and Jenny Wise. They are the founders of Preventative Health Institute. They're the authors of No More Band-Aids, Finding Answers in a Broken Medical System. And they've been helping people heal from all kinds of things. Um, we can't say the V word, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They've been working in private practice with people for over 20 years. Um, and I'm really excited to bring this conversation with you today because they're going to be sharing. We're going to be having a rad conversation about all things business related, how to create a six figure business with just six clients a month. So if you're interested in like helping people in the health field uh, without spending tons of time creating content. These rock stars have created an amazing system. I'm going to tell you all about it. Um, and I really feel like this is a powerful time on the planet where we get to reinvent like the new world, right? How we want to live, how not to compromise our daily, um, like how to not compromise our, our own routines and rituals for a J-O-B, for a job, right? So this is going to be a rad conversation. Tune in, chime in, drop a comment, like, share this with somebody. Um, if you're catching us on Facebook, what up, Facebook? If you're catching the replay on YouTube, uh, drop a comment, say hi. And I'm just going to like introduce these two rock stars and then be quiet. So uh, Kendra and Jenny, I know you guys have been working for years together, why don't you start off by telling um, the audience a little bit about like how you got started? Like, what have the last twenty years been in the in the health in the, in the natural healing wellness you know industry? Um, and just kind of kick us off like that. Okay, all right. Do you want me to start? You can. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did start with me because it started with me being really sick. Uh, most of my life, chronic health conditions. And then when I was 30, that my story's in the books, um, I got, I was like at my worst, just really bad. And I couldn't get any help with conventional medicine. And so I just decided to start researching on my own and I was able to turn my own health around. And at the time, Jenny was actually my sister-in-law. <laughs> and um, I just was super passionate because I went from being so sick, brain fog, pain, uh, you know, no energy. It was awful. I couldn't even take care of my kids really. Um, and then to feeling really good. And so then she saw this transformation. Yeah. So the two of us got really passionate about we wanting to go out and help other people. So then we had uh, a couple of businesses that we grew together over the course of years. And then um, six years ago, we uh, met Dr. Duquette and combined our practices. So he had been practicing functional medicine for about 20 years as well, um, and really in the preventative space. And then Jenny and I have always come from more of an environmental health angle, but still preventative health. So we combined all of our experience into this one program. And then Together, we were helping people in our clinic, and then we finally had honed it down where every single person that went through, no matter what they came to us with, are getting better 100% of the time as long as they do it. Right. So then that's when we decided about four years ago to package this up and actually make it a certification um, because ultimately people should be self-healing, you know, but people don't know how right now. And so that's farther down the road. But this is, you're right, this is an opportunity right now. You know, it seems like a bad, scary time that we've been going through for the last two years, but it's truly an opportunity to step back and take control of, you know, take your power back, like you always right. say, or take yes. your health back, take control of your own life and empower yourself. And you write your own script, you know, so this is just a faster way to get to that. If you're interested in doing what we do. Right. <laughs> yes, we've right. always been an empowerment business organization company, no matter which angle we were at or who our team was um, at the time, it's always been about empowering people mm -hmm. to have the control over their own decisions, health, life, wealth, whatever. Um, so we finally got it to the point where it's really systematic. And in order for us to change the world, we have to have a tribe around us. We can't just do it with us, we're not enough people. <laughs> right. So we wanna bring in more people and teach them, give them back their 
health, their control, so they can go out and do that with other people. All I right. love it. I really especially love the, the whole message. And it's always like this, you know, that your gifts come where like you get cracked or broken or the biggest challenges. Like you said, you were faced with, you know, unable to really even show up for your family because of being so you know ill and then you're finding your solution finding your way through that becomes this incredible gift and empowerment to others and, and now a business and and now like a business model for others and a certification and there's so much like information <laughs> out there competing information of like who do you listen to who do you trust i mean during this whole, you know, pandemic, what's true, what's not true. But I love that you guys have a 20 year track record with a proven system of helping people heal from some really like gnarly things. Like we can say, uh, I, I, I know, I mean, I've had lots of conversations with you, um, Kendra. So I know that, you know, you've had like share with us, what are some of the things that people have come to you with that are just maybe just sound like, in, you know, chronic illnesses, unbelievable that people heal these things. And then what are some of the ways, like, give us some examples of, you know, how, how, how is it that this happens? Like, why aren't more people doing this is what I want to know. That's why we're having this conversation today. Well, why they're not doing it is because everyone's missing that environmental piece and the environmental piece is huge. So right now we're like poisoned on every level, yeah. really. Um, not just you know, chemicals or toxins, but mindset, the stress, you know, now in the last two years, the masks and the just have, rest. The, yes. Yeah. The stress, the fear, you know, all of that comes yeah. into play. And even before that, you know, it's in our water, it's in our food, it's in the air that we breathe, it's everywhere. But when you look at other like coaching programs or even practitioner programs, they focus on diet. That's always key. They, you know, a lot of people do focus on mindset. People talk about exercise, but people are also just treating the symptoms and we don't diagnose, we don't treat, we figure out the root cause right. and the root cause, no matter what the symptom is, is always the same. And it's a huge, like people can't figure it out on their own anymore. If I was where I was 20 years ago, I couldn't have figured this out on my own, but because we've had all this background you know, put it all together. It's just very different than right. what anyone else it's, is doing. You know, you're conditioned also to, if you're sick, go to the doctor. Um, and unfortunately, our medical system has become broken on a lot of levels. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they just want to prescribe you a pill, like just yes. take a pill, like take, a, a, take a pill, take a pill, just which, that out. <laughs> or yeah. a surgery, right? Yes. Any organ that you, they can cut out and you can still live. And a lot of doctors, you know, they go to school wanting to help people, but they get stuck in the system and it's not always their fault. It's very much for profit. And, you know, there's levels and levels. Um, wellness is just not focused on. So we really teach. And prevention um, is not focused yeah. on. It's, it's a lifestyle that you need to live to prevent dysfunction and disease from happening. Because you know, the body knows how to heal itself. You just is. have to get it into the optimal state. Yes. And take right. away you know, the things that are causing the issues. Yeah. Exactly. Years and years ago, you could probably just not be unhealthy and you would be fine. But now how we live, our environment, we have no community. We have, you know, all kinds of things are wrong. So you have to really work towards a lifestyle that prevents um, dysfunction and disease to stay healthy. And if you're already there, you have to kind of reset and rebuild that foundation and then live that preventative lifestyle. Right. Yeah. Conventional medicine is not equipped to help chronic conditions of any kind, period. Autoimmune, chronic conditions, doesn't matter. They can't help you. And actually, if they give you a medication and you feel like the symptoms have been alleviated, that's the worst thing that can happen because it's a false sense of it's helped you. And whatever's causing that is still going on underneath and festering and getting worse. So, you know, conventional medicine is great for if you're in a car accident or you break your arm or you have a yeah, or you get shot or something like you stitch me shot. up, take out the bullet. Yeah. Do exactly. that thing. Mm -hmm. That's when conventional medicine is good. But yeah. yeah, we see people like just for instance, this week, we had a lady, one lady we saw that had fibromyalgia so bad for the last 17 years. She's in so much pain. Her brain fog is so bad. She can't even leave the house. She said that uh, just putting on makeup 
is exhausting to her. So then she's done for the day. She can't go out, do anything with her husband or son, you know, her social life, her family, it affects everyone. And she said, if she did not get help literally in a few days, she right. was just like, she could not go on any longer. And then we have people with GI issues. We have young people with brain yeah. fog, anxiety, depression. I mean, all these things, and they seem to not really correlate but they do because all of the root cause of what's causing yeah. their particular symptom is yeah. the same. Yeah, we used to see people like one thing that came in for one issue that was pretty big and affecting their life, but now it's multiple things. People mm -hmm. have, you know, all kinds of leaves on their disease tree right. going on and they're getting younger and younger. We're treating so many people, high school, early college that they can't even have, you know, social connection. They can't go to school because they're, illness is just keeping them um, from that. So, yeah. I, I think this is the biggest conversation right now and the biggest, one of the biggest um, industries to absolutely boom post pandemic. Yes, huge. And actually before the pandemic, uh, it was supposed to be a huge industry. You know, the statistics were huge, but now due to this, people have gotten sicker, you know, everybody is just, it's just, yeah. um, I was just having a conversation walking down to this waterfall yesterday with my client. And we're like, we've never seen humanity. Children have never experienced humanity where you have to wear masks and be so separated and all of the anxiety, the, the, the shaming, the like, and we were just talking about how it affected our, our, our own lives, our own families, you know, um, and holy smokes, there, there's so, such a need right now. Um, and so if you're, if you're tuning in, if you're watching, if you, if you love health, if you're interested in health, if you're intrigued, if you want to be part of the movement, part of the, the new earth that we all get to create here together, um, I'd love for you to uh, tell us a little more about this certification program that you have, because we know it's a multi-trillion dollar industry. And most, you know, most people have been tuning into my work here over the last decade. I help spiritual women, coaches, you know, spirit healers, um, you know, create a, a portable, profitable business. They can rock in their bikini if they want to. Like I've been doing this for a long time, uh, tuning into and showing, you know, people a way to, uh, you know, create, uh, create impact with their, their purpose-based work. And, um, you guys have created a phenomenal platform for people to just plug and play, come on in uh, and really, take all of the 20 years of um, proven system, you know, processes and, and basically launch their own health business. So like fill us in on this because I think this is just rad. <laughs> well, it kind of picks up from where you, you know, what you've always done. Um, but then people had to figure out what they were going to, what they're going to coach, you know, what their program is going to be, what they're going to call it get over their, their blocks and get clarity on who they want to work with and pricing and all those things that hold people back. Yeah. And we've done all that. I mean, we have so many years, so much time in this. This is our life's work that we have packaged into this program. So much money, so many mistakes. <laughs> yes, we're saving that. Right, we're so. saving, I mean, so much. So yeah, so it, it's basically, I, we were talking about this this morning, yeah. three things that I feel like anyway, or the biggest value to someone. And um, the first is just that this is all, nothing is made up that we do. It's all very purposeful. You know, it's based on research in our clinic. It's based on symptoms people had, results, test results, um, you know. Commonalities. Commonalities, all of that. So we took all of that. So you have, you know, everything is clinical research-based. So when people are saying, show me the science, that is the science. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, that, that, that foundational program is what um, in our clinic, that's what people start out with. It's 90 days. It's laid mm -hmm. out. They go through that. There's an online portal. There's, you know, it steps you through weekly, daily um, lessons, videos, downloads, all kinds of resources. And then while they're going through that 
um, online system, they're also talking to a preventative health practitioner each week. So you have like a mentor or a guide that helps you while you're going through the online system. Um, for so it's like a certification. You go through this 90 days with support and you get kind of certified in your methodology that's been proven, tested for 20 years and all the research. And then, and then what? Then you are considered a personal preventative health practitioner. So you know how to keep yourself healthy, your family, friends, but you're not going to do it necessarily as a business. Um, that's what every client will start out as. To become a certified preventative health practitioner where you can do this as a business, you go through that and then you take our training portion. So we want everyone to start out as a client so they've gone through it. They understand our program as it's set out. Then we go into behind the scenes. Like, why did we recommend these things during the 90 days? What was behind the mindset? What was behind the diet? Um, and then we also go into building your business. So the systems that we use, how, you know, uh, calendars, scheduling, how we do that, um, how you coach each week, how you be that mentor and guide for that person. Uh, we train you on that side of things too. And then, so that's kind of step one, step two. And then the third step is coming to a certification event. So you do physically have to come see us for a weekend, three days. Um, Sounds like fun. I, I do it. I mean, shit, I love to travel. I love to connect. Like a people. retreat. And then you yeah. get to meet everyone that you've been working with yeah. and it's hardcore review yeah. and we jump into we review. videos and eat organic Sounds like a food. A lot of support, organic yeah. food, sign me up. Like I love right. food. Yeah. And then we have them do like their video for their website that we built for them. It's just a simple two page uh, website. They can, you know, go beyond that, but we provide that. Uh, we make sure that everything for their business is set up in place. And then they do have to take a certification exam. So once they pass that, then they can launch like the next day and start taking um, clients. And the great thing is, they're then not out on their own. It's not like we're saying, here, take this stuff and go do it. They're still part of uh, our team. So their clients get into our same online system. They use our portals. We have the email system built. We have the resources built. So they get to just use that moving forward. And we keep up on the research and the changes and all of that stuff and push that out. So somebody becomes, let's say like, okay, let's say I sign up and I do the certification and I do the business training. And then I, you, you show me how to market to get clients and you give me a website. And then when I get my client, I just plug them into the system and they have like all the emails and the support and the training. Yep. Yeah. That's and then you just call them like once a week for three months or six months, whatever you set up with them. And you already know what they're using and all their tools. Um, and you just coach them through that. Right. And so like the big question everyone wants to know is like, can you really make six figures with just like six clients a month? You can actually make it with three. Okay. I don't know why we said six. It just seemed like a better, <laughs> better fit. If so you are working every single month and you want, uh, you know, a little bit more um, free time, I guess, then you can make more money. If you want to work like um, six months out of the year or eight months out of the year, uh, you can still make six figures doing this. So it's really, and it depends on if you want to charge for three months or six months with each person, but that's kind of the minimum you're going to make. Yeah. We, yeah. even the price. So like I said, everything is very purposeful. We've tried everything. Yeah. So we know every bit, every piece of this works, even the business side. So even the pricing, which oftentimes holds people back, right? Because yeah, people, people, I mean, this is the biggest charge issue with their worth. And yeah. the biggest issue that coaches have is like, right. what do I charge? You know, right. what do I call so this thing? Who am I? Yeah. yeah. And we didn't make up this price. Like we've tried this. So what, what we charge and the reason we call this a franchise is because we want consistency across the board. Like yeah. we don't want Jenny over here charging $5,500 and Lily Lou over here charging, you know, 250 for the same thing. So we, everything is consistent across what right. we do. So for um, three months working with somebody, you charge them $3,500. Uh, six months is 55, I think. Yeah. And, and the reason we came up with that price is because it seems to be a price that people can afford. Like they Which can come important. up with that money. Yeah. But they also have skin in the game where they will do the work and live this lifestyle. Because if it's less, like I've given this away for free. I can't tell you how many times. 
you give it away for free, nobody will do it. Yeah. People yeah. The people have to have skin in the game. They have to be committed. They, right. it, I mean, you have to be at a place to make real lifestyle changes, health changes. And I know because I started cleansing, you know, earlier this year, dropped 20 pounds, stop eating gluten. Like if I have pasta, it ain't, ain't going to be, ha- it ain't going to be nice, you know, like, wow. But I, did I ever have to get to a place of like, okay, you know, things really have to change. We're all creatures of habit. Yeah, it's, um, hard. it's hard to change. Yeah, it is. But you also you, you, like, you know, like Jenny mentioned, you really need the community. You really need the yes, support right. and you can't do this on your own um, um, encouragement, empowerment, and then, you know, the right system to follow. Right. Joni is asking a great question. I mean, I love all of this because you guys have really done all of the hard work so people can just plug and play and not have to reinvent the wheel and recreate everything from scratch. Right. Um, she's asking, how do we get clients? Clients is the one thing that they have to do on their own. Like we can (laughs) give all the information in the world on what to do, how to do it. Here's your business, but you have to take action. And really the main thing to do, and we talk about this in the training, you have to speak up. Like you have to engage with people. You have to tell people what you're doing. Um, you have to be living this lifestyle and showing people that you're living this lifestyle and get people excited when yeah. people connect, feel a connection with you. That's how you get clients. Yes. Um, we you know, people do like, a, a couple of video challenges so that they're doing videos regularly posting them, you know, before they get certified that way, they've got that information out there. They're sharing. We have had people who, um, wanted to work more in person with people, um, locally. So then we help them figure out, like, can you team up with someone who's in a wellness space, uh, locally and kind of maybe do events once a month and, you know, do a free class and then Um, pull people in that way. So part of it depends on what your, uh, who you want to work with, because you get to pick that. Do you want to work with women over 50 who are just burnt out from the corporate world? Then there would be a different kind of marketing than if you want to work with, you know, young college students who are struggling to figure out how to prevent dysfunction and disease. So our kids, everyone is sick, you guys, everyone. (laughs) So you have, it sounds terrible to say that, but listen, you can relatively healthy, you know, look, you can look really good, but inside unnourished, you know, um, GI issues out the wazoo, literally. Can we talk a little (laughs) bit about that? The, uh, the V word, I know we're not allowed to say anything. Well, not too. Yeah. As far this as been... know, we're the only ones that have done research on this. And so we have a year under our belt by accident um, <laughs> because I didn't want to work with anyone that had, had had the shot, but we did. And so we have a year under our belt, people going through a program and we really took good notes, you know, watching how they went. And so far they're progressing, they're healing exactly the same way. And I have not heard of anyone else that's doing that. So that's it. That's huge. I can, like, I know this is a really crazy topic. Okay. This is a supercharged, this will break apart your family. You know, I have uh, people in my family that won't talk to me anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. like, ain't never going to get the shot. You're going to have to come to my house and I'll be here with my fucking guns before you ever get close to me with that thing. It's a hell no. And um, so people are really, you know, it's very polarizing. And what I'm seeing online about this is, you know, and these are close friends of mine, you know, people who have gotten COVID like four times (laughs) and they've had the shot and it's, it's, it's done something not, not, not good to their immune system. So I'm really happy that you guys, um, and I I know people have very polarizing views on this, but we're all in like this kind of uh, live experiment on earth here. Yeah. Right. And we're going to be seeing, you know, things, you know, the, the next what decade, the next 20 years of what's, what's come from this. Um, so I'm really happy to hear that you have had great results, uh, with people, I might want to like connect you. I actually have shared your website. It's preventativehealthinstitute.com. Is that right? Institute of preventative health.com. <laughs> okay. Institute of preventative health.com is your right. website. I'm also dropping a few links here below the show notes on YouTube and Facebook here in the uh, zoom chat where people can connect with you 
on Facebook. Do you want to just uh, share the Facebook group and pages and like let us know how people can maybe? Oh, we already share. Well, they're in here, but just oh, okay. it's just like at, uh, at preventative health practitioner on Instagram, Facebook, most of the socials that will find us. Great. So the website and at preventative health practitioner. Yep. And there's uh, mm-hmm. on our website, you can do like a discovery session. So there's a form on there. If you want more information, you can connect with us directly that way. Or if you just want to follow us, we do have a take your health back now podcast, mm-hmm. a YouTube channel that most of the podcasts will go on. Sometimes they get taken down, right. um, you know, like that topic, what we're really, we feel really deeply about people having all the information so if you have all the information and then you want to make the choice to do those types of things then that's your life but the people who don't have the information who don't know what it's doing and they're just being you know coerced into consent um that's the issue and that's the issue with well there's a lot of people that have had to take it to keep their job you know uh, or to be able to travel Yep. Right. Hard choices. People Super. don't have to, like, there is no job in the world that I would take that and say, I have to stay in my job. If you look so, at my mom, you know, 74 years old, wants to come and visit her daughter in Mount Shasta, California. Right. She's like, hit me up, man. Well, for, I ain't going to live forever. So I want to see my, right. you know, like there's a lot of people and thankfully right. that she hasn't really had any symptoms or, you know, um, but there's a lot of people that, and this is, this is really why I love what you girls are doing, you know, about launching this certification and kind of like health business in a box, health franchise in a box where people can have another option or another alternative to um, having to consent maybe when the inside, you know, there's a lot of people well, that just don't thing. want to. Yeah. Right. Because some people, some people felt that way and that's fine because it's all about choice, right? Choice yeah. is freedom. So you have the information, you sit with yourself, whatever resonates with you and you do that, that's your choice. But for the people that, like we have a lot of nurses that we work with and um, different people that did step away from their job, they made that choice uh, because that was their choice, you know, but then they didn't know what to do or what do I do now? So this is a great alternative um, that you can just step right into. And I will just say, this is just my opinion, but we probably have some more of this coming down the track, you know, in the fall. And so this is a great time to do this yeah. as we're recording this, you know, this is, what is today? July, July. 13th. But, you know, right now, uh, you know, six months from now, or we also have a fast track, we'll track the, talk about that. But, you know, by the first of the year, whatever's coming and you can't focus on that because we don't know, you know, that just, that's where you give away your power, but you take your power by saying, okay, I'm going to precautionary principle let's just try something now so that you're prepared and you're ready to go with your business you know if yeah. something comes down and if nothing does come down everyone needs the help right now anyway you know so. just just to understand how to get rid of these environmental factors you know right. bring your health back to kind of reset allow your body to naturally do what it does best right. yeah. you know a long time ago when i moved well when i moved to mount shasta we, you know, started going to the spring here and, you know, I jump in the truck, feel like go to the rock, the water's coming out of, you know, and fill up on my water. You know, it takes 50 years to come through the aquifers. And that's like the start of the Sacramento river. That's, that's the water that I drink. It doesn't come out of a tap. Like these, these, you know, these ways of, um, of revitalizing you know your your body being out in nature like sunbathing i'm in the sun every day this is required for my body you know it's it's a daily check the box that happens just like you know meditation exercise there's you know and all of that we cover Yeah. yeah connection to nature is huge and especially now more than ever right and we we talk about all that time all the time and we're working on a new module as well we're actually updating our program but a new module that's all about frequency and living with frequency so eating with frequency you know everything you do it's on a frequency level because that's huge too but that's kind of and it's not woo woo but a lot of people (laughs) aren't ready for that yeah but it's it's one of the steps so that if they get to that point where they're ready for that that's like a next step um so yeah you do raise your frequency one of the things that i noticed when i started cleansing 
is that, and I did some, I did like some really, you know, 10 day cleanse. Like it was a spiritual, emotional, physical, like psychological cleanse. Yeah. Okay. And I became a lot more intuitive and a lot more psychic. Mm -hmm. So it actually, you know, you coming into correct, you know, correctness or the right alignment or frequency with your body uh, right. and your mind and your emotions that it, it opens up a lot of different faculties and gifts that you who wouldn't have had access to so I love this whole you know concept of frequency what we put in and I can stop it like if I get if it's too intense too <laughs> much you know too much coming down the pipes I'm like I'm just like eat some french fries and have a burger and I'd be like oh there you go that'll bring it down <laughs> yeah it's like it doesn't happen often but sometimes I'm like okay this is a little bit much folks you know yeah, just right. calm this down for a little bit let me just <laughs> ground myself here so right. what we eat like I can I can so see the difference you know your your body becomes so fine-tuned um become much more aware in touch with it right which is where we should be all yeah. the time anyway but we've just we've gotten so far away from that again we always call it your total body burden so people's bodies are just so burdened yeah that it does, it brings you away from that where you should be all the time, you yeah. know, where you should be residing. But anyway, we could go on yeah, with that topic that forever. Yeah, we hear that as an excuse a lot though, not right. to start, not to get healthy. I don't have the energy. I don't have the time. I cannot do yeah. those things. But if you put the time and energy in, you will get them back tenfold. You will have more time, more energy and things will get better. Well, absolutely. And I mean, when you lose your health, you realize that all the money in the world, all the tea in China yeah. isn't worth anything. You don't have your health. You really, you don't have any, you don't, like you said, okay. you, any of your clients, people you work with don't have the energy just for daily, like just to take care of themselves is a big issue. So health is like number, num number one, you know, number yeah. one priority. Health, the new wealth, right? And yeah, health, huge. You yeah. have to have your health. That's why also another reason why we have the people that go through our program go through the first part first, not only so they know what they're coaching their clients through, but so they optimize their own health because yeah. you you can't help somebody else and if you're not healthy, you know, but uh, health time, having that time. So we make this as teaching them more of a virtual practice because then you can have all the time. You can do it from wherever you want. You can set your own hours. You're creating your own life, right? Yeah. Your own story. Whereas if you do have a brick and mortar, you know, which is great. Lots of, I'm sure a lot of people listening to this do, and that's fine. And you can use this to complement your own business, but it does tie you down. You know, well, I, you, you all know, I'm a huge fan of, you know, work, helping yeah. people work virtually and setting them up to have like, you know, portable, profitable business, freedom-based business. Um, it is like the best thing since sliced bread you can be pretty much anywhere in the world and still right. be helping people you know supporting yourself and your family there's a question and i love these questions you guys if you're tuning in here live on the zoom what questions do you have for kendra and jenny drop them in the chat uh, if you're on the facebook live as well joni's got another great question do you have any marketing advice other than social me uh social contacts i have a small social circle so what I guess the question is like, what happens if they don't have all this fancy social media following? Do you guys cover uh, maybe more brick and mortar ways or other ways of marketing to help them get clients? Well, other brick and mortar, that's kind of what Jenny was talking about, yeah. um, you know, reaching out in your community, partnering, that type of thing, but also building that social network. Right. Um, it doesn't have to be friends and family. And those actually, are usually not, they're the not good clients. No. <laughs> friends and family, right. they, uh, I don't know, you know them too well for them to really be held accountable by you, I guess, is how it usually plays out. So um, yeah, you just start, you have to put that intention out there that if you want this to be a virtual business, you have to be in a virtual space. Uh, you There's so many platforms now. You don't have to be on Facebook. You could be on Instagram. You could be on TikTok. You can be on YouTube. That's a big one. You I got to tell you, I'm actually becoming a huge fan of Instagram Reels. Now, listen, I resisted these dang reels like the freaking plague i was like i ain't gonna be dancing on social media folks okay enough right. of this silly tiktok dancing videos i was so mad i'd see all these people dancing around i'm like y'all look like a freaking puppet y'all you like i ain't gonna i don't care if that's a trend and right. you ain't gonna see me doing that you know i was so 
Arr! like, you know, a dead set against it. But I've been just tooling around with, you know, sharing thoughts and ideas when I get them, you know, and I could be hiking to a waterfall or, you know, I don't know, on the mountain or just inspired and grab my camera and do a quick little reel and pop it on Instagram. And within 24 hours, that reel has gotten 6,000 plus views. Mm-hmm. Right. And you have to do yeah. what's authentic to you. If TikTok dances are not your thing, don't try to do them just because someone tells you that's right. a good idea because no one will want to watch them because they can tell you don't enjoy it. Yeah. You have to do what resonates and you, you know, if, if you don't have a big social network, you have to start somewhere. And that's something you really have to brainstorm at the beginning of our business section. That's why we want you to start with those systems before you're certified. So you can kind of play around um, yeah. and figure out what works for you because it's going to be different for everybody. Yeah, and we do go over that in, in the business training. We do have that 30 uh, day video challenge where you're supposed to be knocking out a video every day because that can hold. When I, I went through Vanessa's program like five years ago and literally it took me, I don't know how many months before I would even do the first video. Oh that is God. so hard. Yeah. I don't know why. But um, so that's why we do. We start that in place to get you more comfortable. And then we talk about the different social media types. And things have really changed too yeah. this last two years, especially in the health space because of all the censorship and that type of thing. We really took a step back and almost took us like a year off of our trajectory yeah, a lot of people i didn't want to i didn't even yeah. i didn't even want to be on social media i'm like if i can't say what the heck i'm gonna i'm gonna say right. i got a big i got big mouth i got <laughs> big mouth okay we did i was like, like i'm leaving facebook and i'm like oh wait. yeah i was so mad for oh, you know, it seems to not be so i mean i think people are still getting censored but um not maybe not as crazy as it was born and yes things have changed so i'm happy you right. guys have like the formula yeah. And we have, I, we personally take a lot of training, yeah. you know, and, and are constantly learning. So even on the social media and how to get clients, you know, like what Joan was asking, uh, just this last couple of weeks, I've taken like three masterminds, um, learning what is working now in the health space. So we're constantly adding that into our training and we work with you one-on-one every, or not one-on-one, but um, we have group calls, coaching right. calls every week. So we're updating what we're learning, that kind of thing too. But yeah. And we are starting a mastermind. Um, we're going to try to do them twice a year. We're starting one in fall. So if you're interested in that, reach out right away and we'll give you information. But basically we're going to work one-on-one with those people. So if you're going through our standard training, it's kind of a, we do group calls. So it's still us, but we're not one-on-one with you. Um, So we're going to really condense it down and work with people um, several times a week so that they can get through uh, faster. And then they have more um, time to kind of pick our brains and we can help narrow things down a little bit. Yeah, we're Better. super excited about this. This is new. We've, this is the first time we're doing this. Uh, I think it starts September 1st, right? Yeah, because we're we want only... them to have their business at the start of the new year. Right. So it, we're only taking 12 people for this. So this is a small group. Um, these people, like Jenny said, we're working one-on-one. This is four months of hardcore. So you have to be somebody that wants to knock this out and start your business right away. Um, the other training, I think we got sidetracked. It takes, it takes about six months, depending on, you know, how fast you go through, but this one, four months, one-on-one with us in the beginning through the body burden camp. Then it's Jenny's doing a call once a week. I'm doing a call once a week, but we have things for you to do every single week to knock this out. Um, you all start together and then we all launch your businesses together at the end of four months. So yeah, it, I think it's going to be really exciting, but it's only for those people that have the time to dedicate and are really dedicated. You have to have the entrepreneurial spirit, you know, those type of people. So 12 of you. So yeah, if you were interested in that, you better sign up. <laughs> fast. Yeah, our, <laughs> our standard but, program is more like we were talking about before. You can get through there and you can do it and be ready in six months. But if you're trying to just kind of get your feet wet and feel around, you can take a little bit longer. You could maybe, you know, launch very quietly and just take a few people um, and see if you want to expand. Um, this one's, you're, you know, you want to do this as your yeah. full-time thing. And I back like to you guys' the question too, we're working, we're building the client their client base as we go through that too so it's i like that you give people two options you know like fast track and also you know do it at your own speed 
right. options because there's always people that are just like ready to have a want, you know, or a hell yes. And want to do something, you know, right. just different personalities, mm -hmm. the way yeah. you wait and, and your time, your life, you know, right. some people don't have the time to put in that we need them to put in for the four months track. So, you know, whatever works for you. I was going to say like a half hour ago, I always get <laughs> sidetracked, but when I said my three things I'm really excited about, I yeah. said one, and then we were like, Ooh, got on to something else. But the one was that it's, it's all based on research. Right. But the second one was that everything is branded. So that's something else that keeps, yeah. holds people back. Cause they're, what am I going to call my business? What am I going to teach? Now I've got to come up with emails. Now I have to come up with documents. What am I going to say? And I'm in two coaching, um, uh, private groups because I started two different coaching business or programs a long time ago. But even today I was showing Jenny the questions. These people just don't know. They don't know what to teach. They have questions. They, everything's so general. So everything's done. Right. So we have like yeah. our main company, take your health back now. That's what everyone's clients will get into. So then once they are working with them for that three months, those people have access to that forever. They're in that platform lifelong. Um, and you as a certified practitioner, you can buy like we have these um, cards. Positive quote cards, like I am cards. Yeah, affirmation I am statements. Cards. It's like a whole deck that you can get. And it's we like have. a nice, it's a nice like yeah. product that you can yeah. buy yeah. for your it's clients. Good off the site. You know, yeah. if you want to give gifts yeah. when people we sign have, up. They have like a workbook yeah. that goes through the basic part. So some people, you know, it's digital. Most of what we do is digital, but some people like to have that. It's a nice touch to be able to mail somebody a book yeah. and a set of cards that complements their health journey. Right. Oh, it. and then they have, we have this one. Everybody loves this. Can you see it? Yeah. So this is, you can get these in posters. We have them in our clinic downstairs. Um, but this is a good way to describe root cause. You know, this yeah. is where conventional medicine works up here. And even a lot of holistic doctors, they're treating the, the symptoms. Yes. These are the roots that cause the symptoms. And this is where we work. So it's a good tool when you're, you know, describing to somebody what you do, you can order the posters. Um, there's also a wellness tree, which is what people yes. want. And <laughs> someone stole it out of our deck. Well, well we, we were the, they could have it. <laughs> oh, I forgot. It was, we went to the advanced medicine conference in Texas uh, last month and yeah. Everybody loves that wellness tree. And somebody said, can I just borrow it? I'll bring it right back. Bring it right back. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, then we have- well, Yeah, and even Candace got a question. Can you buy the products without purchasing the course or is this only for those who sign up and join the four or six month program? Well, I mean- So if you are just wanting to get your own health back, you would go through the personal, that first step and you would have a preventative health practitioner yourself. So you would be the client um, and then you would get these things from them. But just as like to the public- um, we do sell our uh, inspirational card deck. Um, we sell our books. Our workbook is a good place to, if you aren't sure and you want to kind of see what our approach is, it's a good place to start. Um, that's on our website. You can get that. Uh, the cards, you'd have to reach out to us. We don't have a, like yeah. a button for those. We normally um, just, we don't have it. We don't normally sell them. <laughs> yeah, you have to like be here physically for right. those. Um, the binder that I showed that each person that starts the program would get a binder from their practitioner. And then as you download stuff, you would fill that up. So we don't sell them full like a textbook, but as you go through the program, some people, like I said, like printed copies, Kendra likes physical things. I'm more digital. <laughs> Paper and uh, yeah. so we try I to love to underline things, yeah. earmark yeah. it, I have a book, I want to sit down. It's got a lot of coffee stains on it. Like, yeah, yeah I like to get my hands on tactical. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but the, you know, our ultimate goal is to help people heal, right? And then continue on this. And part of yeah. what's taken us so long in building this is people would do really well. And then as soon as they are away from their coach, they fall off the wagon because it's hard work to maintain. So everything's in place for lifelong where they can continue. And people are so happy about it. I was just going to show this. So this, this is one of the binders, but this, see how many pages there are. Can you see? Yeah. So many pages. That's the client. Like if you go through our program, this is what the client gets by the time they're done from all of the emails and the, the body burn boot camp, everything that's already done, they can download these. And then they basically have a book, a resource. A textbook. Yeah. That they <laughs> can instantly refer to. Yeah. And people love this. That's a really good value. But my point was with this, this all is very professional. It's done. 
you don't have to waste time coming up with something and it looks that can, very you know what, to your it takes client. a lot of work to put something like this together. Yeah, you have no I, idea. I oh, no, I do. <laughs> you have an idea. You have an idea. <laughs> I have a very good idea. Right. It but it saves a lot of time. Yeah. Right. And it saves so much time you wouldn't even believe. And yeah. so many people don't even move forward past that stage. But also people look at that and their perceived value, if something looks professional, mm -hmm. you know, it they might not even think about it, but they feel better about it. Well, you think about it, you know, if you want to buy like a, a Starbucks franchise, it's $350,000. That's without right. employees. That's without rent. That's without coffee beans. You know, that's without purchasing or renting, you know, the location that's just for the recipe that, or, you know, the license to be able to sell Starbucks coffee, a proven, right. you know, coffee that everyone likes. So you guys have that same um, proven system, you know, that works, right. the pricing, the content, the materials, the support, uh, the training for the, for the practitioner, for the, you know, Starbucks coffee owner, franchise <laughs> right. owner, um, and in, in the health, you know, and wellness preventative, uh, health space, which. Right. And I it love. doesn't cost $350,000. Yeah. Franchises yeah. are really expensive. Yeah. A McDonald's <laughs> franchise is 1,000,000.2. And it's like the hey. nastiest crap on earth. Uh, right. That's right. You're spreading the opposite of health and wellness. Yeah. Yeah. We want, I mean, our mission really is to like change the world. So <laughs> it's big. So, but we, when everyone has to have access. So we try to make it so that it's um, the value is there and the cost is accessible to people. You know, it's more about like what you're worth, not your work ethic, but your worth ethic. Um, right. You know, you have to put that energy in. And then that energy exchange is really what, what we love. <laughs> and I love that it also helps people, you know, not have to compromise their values just to keep it their job, you know, to, yeah. to, to keep their livelihood. It gives right. people another option, another alternative to, I mean, so oh, many big changes have happened during this, you know, time. Uh, mm -hmm. jobs, you know, people having just massive wake up calls, like awakening consciousness, enter stage left, you know, oh boy, uh, you know, your priorities, your values change, where you live change, how you want to, you know, what are the, what's on your bucket list now? What's your priority, how you want to live? I mean, it's everything has changed. Drastically. Yeah. change is so scary as humans our brain says don't change we know what we're doing but we've been forced into change for the last two years so now people I think are more comfortable with change so if you want to make a big change you can do it it's like right. look at all the things you've changed in the last two years uh and you got through that so and it's also perspective yeah. it's either change is really scary people don't want to change think they can't change or you think of it as an opportunity yes. and it truly is an opportunity for people that have that perspective. I was also gonna say about the jobs, um, it was interesting at the beginning of this when it, when the lockdown, you know, and nobody went to work. So the people we were working with, patients, uh, their health got better so fast. So much faster. So much they didn't faster. Have to go to work. <laughs> yeah, and then when all of a sudden they could go back to work, they went back to work and all their symptoms came back. So jobs are really, you're, you know, if you're doing, we see this a lot too, where people are doing everything we say and they're not getting better and they blame it on the program, but you know, it is their job. Right. And so if they step away from their job, all of a sudden they're healing, you know, it can be, yeah. uh, but anyway, oh, well, listen, if you're doing something that, I mean, my life has drastically changed. I used to run, you know, 60 people in a mastermind program had 30 people to manage, you know, a ton of overhead. It's so much stress. I mean, everywhere in my life in my marriage, uh, pfft, no exit stage. Right. That was Vanessa was like eject from that, you know, might <laughs> find, it might've looked really good financially, but the stress from that kind of fast pace it was totally unsustainable. I'm so grateful. My life is so different. I still help women. I still, you know, do inner work. Um, still loving nature and I'm just working with women in a completely in, in a way that works for me, you know, right. you're creating your own life. It's yeah, empowering. very different. And so I can, yeah. I can share from personal experience that stress is, it's a real thing. Yeah. And right. when you're not doing, you know, what's aligned for you anymore. Um, and you're hanging on to that, whether that's, you know, whether that's a relationship, whether that's a business model or a job or a business or a way of doing things, 
um, it can create a tremendous amount of, of stress, you know, yeah. and I think we are, we were humans, right? So it's like, well, we've all had to, you know, embrace a choke, cough, spit, burp, fart, you know, digest that <laughs> launching into the living in the space of the unknown right. and trusting and loving and keeping our hearts open. And it is a perspective, you know, you, we can, you know, scramble and hang on and fight it and, you know, be a victim and come from that stance because it's so scary or, you know, really, as you said, open up, embrace change as uh, an opportunity, you know, really as a perspective, uh, as a choice. Exactly. And I'm really happy that you guys are doing this rad work. Um, it's awesome. Nothing is bad. Nothing is more fulfilling, at least to me, than seeing somebody that has just given up. They have no hope because conventional medicine has said, sorry, we can't help you, or you it's all in your head. Like you forever. have to live this way forever. They have no hope They're They feel so miserable. We had a man come in one time. He was like six, five, this big, you know, he looked like a big muscular guy sobbing and crying. And because he was in so much pain, he couldn't even shower anymore mm -hmm. because his skin hurt so bad. I mean, and then you work with these people and slowly these symptoms start going away and then they they get their health back and then they, they get their life back. It's, right. it's amazing. It's a, yes. it's an amazing job to watch every um, single person. Kayla said that's the point she was almost at. Yes. Yes. We yes. Were. Kayla, <laughs> Kayla actually worked with us. Was it like four years ago? Yeah. It's been quite a while, it but is. she was somebody and she, she was like that. She was so sick and she was so young. How old were you? I can't remember. <laughs> she might not want to tell you. Oh, you may not want to tell anybody, but anyway, uh, yeah, but she had to, I mean, and she had to make some serious yes. choices. And that's, I think someone right before her house. asked that if you're in the wrong field, how do you diagnose or rectify it? Um, it's that you have to really work with people on their mindset. And if they're doing all the right things at home and they're not seeing the change, then you, you kind of be a health detective and you figure out, but we do talk about all your environments. So not just your home environment. If you spend, you know, if you commute, then in your car environment, if you're at work, what is your work environment like? So you can kind of pinpoint where those toxicities are coming from. Um, and then people have to make those choices. Just like if we said, you know, you can't eat spinach ever again. Um, we might say you really need to get out of this job. It's kind of killing you. Then they have that information and then they have to take action on that. You can't make them. Um, but if they have the information and they're seeing the changes in the other areas, you can't deny that that's where it's coming from. And, and people do have to make hard choices. We've recommended that people move because of the area they're like Kayla, in. Kayla had to leave her house. She yeah. made that choice. And that must have been really a tough choice. But I tell you what, that yeah. completely turned her yeah. health around. And your but journey. I think, when, and I think when people have enough pain, they're willing. You know, pain, well, and here's pain is part of it. It's part yeah. of the decision. It's Holy the big motivator. Process, whether it's emotional pain, physical pain, um, you know, and exhaustion pain, is big too. If you can't exhaustion, sleep, stress, right. not sleeping. Yeah, I didn't sleep for a year. It's whoa. Yeah. lack of motivation, anxiety. But pain. the problem is, we really want to teach preventative health. We want right. to teach people how to ever, you know, never get these chronic conditions. But the problem is, if people feel pretty good, they're not motivated to do the work. It's, <laughs> it's the people that don't feel good that are finally like, I will do this work. Yeah, you know, so we kind of, better, so. I mean, what we envision is that we'll get all these people um, back to being healthy and control of their health. They're living this lifestyle. And now the next generation that they're raising is just used to living this way um, from when they're little. So then they can move that forward. And, you know, a couple of generations down the line, you might not need a practitioner to help you. We're just teaching people how to live that way. Um, that's the big goal. But so, you know, Gandhi said, long, be the change, you know, be right. the change you want to see in the world. So that's right. really what it is, you know, modeling it. And there's, you know, I've had a lot of conversation. I've gotten into human design here, you know, the, being correct, being satisfied. Um, and we really do affect and impact the world by our frequency, by being... Yeah. Healthy yeah. by being correct, by being 
happy, you know, by, by being satisfied, you know, in, you know, really uh, not, not having the mind, you know, take us on this trip or, you know, this is the way you should live. This is how society conditions you. This is what success looks like. No, no, this is, this is it right here authentically. Um, right. Even back to Joan's question with that, what you were just saying, uh, you attract what you are, you know? So just exactly what Vanessa was just saying. And so when you are living this lifestyle, you're healthy, you're happy, you know, you exude this energy. You know, we all have this aura, we have this prana, this energy. People are attracted to that. So you end up attracting the right people that to work with you anyway. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to try even as hard as you might think you do. You yeah, know. you just have to get correct with yourself, aligned yeah. health, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically, you know, all of this is, this is the health. This is the change. This is what he means by be the change. Right. Um, Candace is saying that she realizes she had to move in her own place. It's hard for me living with, you know, somebody else who obligates her to do all these things when you have a day right. off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have yeah. to set boundaries. We talk about that on the mindset piece, like, um, you have to feel what is good for you on your journey and not just think about, are you making someone else happy? Because like Kendra said, when you get yourself in line and you're happy, then the people around you benefit from that energy rather than you hiding and doing things for other people. Right. Yeah, that's emotionally healthy. Now we're talking people. about, now we're getting into like trauma work. We've been <laughs> yes. Real deep. Dive. This is huge. I mean, we start, our whole program starts out like this because- you know, if, if you're, and you know, we see this a lot too. We just talked to somebody yesterday, a, a woman, it's usually people around our age come in, they're, they're sick, they feel terrible, but they're putting all of themselves out for their family and their, their friends, their kids. They don't take the time for themselves. And then they feel so selfish yeah. to actually work on themselves. And so that's always a big, and it's not just women, but we yeah. do see that a lot. But yeah. people feel like it's selfish to work on themselves. Martyrs, they're and they self-sacrifice for the you know for the greater good or greater community right. or for their families. But then they end up burning themselves out. It's right. like it's abandoning self actually to right. keep right. love close to you. That's a whole chapter, you know, on toxic yeah. bonding, yeah. toxic relationships. Right. I went through that myself. That's what I discovered in you know going through my divorce. It was some of the best, the best. Thing that could have ever happened to me it completely changed right. you know i completely changed my life um so i'm happy you guys cover that i mean we could talk for hours this is like right? my yeah. one of my favorite yeah. conversations you guys have you girls have been phenomenal and it's just easy and free-flowing and you know we could share stories and i want to invite you guys to come and you know connect with kendra and jenny um connect with them on social media check out their website and the website again, I put it here in the notes. It's in the you know, Institute it's of Preventative of Preventative oh. Health.com. Institute okay. of Preventative Health.com. I'll make sure it's below the show notes in the YouTube yeah. video as well. We do have um, video podcasts on our website. It's called the Empowerment Hour. And it's just a lot of me talking on different <laughs> subjects, but they all pertain to being a health coach so or, or a practitioner. So if you have more questions, if you check through those, um, one of them might be one that you want to watch to have more of your questions answered. Right. And so. if you're really interested in reach out um, today or in the next, you know, 24 hours, we do have some big discounts for oh, Vanessa's yeah. followers and anyone watching here. So if you are interested in that discount, uh, reach out and we'll get it to you. Yeah. And that's for the certification or the fast track, the mindset, or the mindset, the mentorship. <laughs> Mastermind. I love it. I love a good deal. You guys, you know, I love a good yeah. deal. So that's super generous of you guys to offer something to uh, anyone tuning in here live or catching the replay for this audience. Any last minute nugget <laughs> you'd like oh. to share? Probably putting you on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. I would say I thought of it earlier and I didn't say it. I would say, <laughs> unless you have something to say, no. I usually end up talking more uh, is, you know, just decide if you want, are you going to be the creator of your life? You know, when we made a big decision last week, uh, stepping away from the clinic that we, because we've been putting our focus on both, but this is our passion, this yeah. business. So we made this decision to step away and put all our focus on this. And that was a huge decision for us. 
But you know, you have to be the creator of your life. If you are in a job, if you are allowing your spouse or whatever to call the shots, you know, like somebody mentioned, that's letting someone else narrate your life. Even being caught up in what's going on right now and believing that something terrible is coming down the track, that's letting them narrate your life and write your own, you know, your story. But you want to write your own story. And so you're, if you're writing your own story, you're creating it and it can be anything you want, right? Yes. So if you do want this, this, <laughs> it's a really easy way to get to where you want much faster than coming up with it on your own. Yeah. So that would be my last bit. You are a creator. Agreed. And I, and I love what you were saying. I, I read this quote on Instagram. I'm just looking at it now and it says, um, you know, your open heart is causing the matrix matrix to implode on its own your open heart is the original philosopher's stone like it's such a rebellion right. to you know choose to consciously create to you know when the world is trying to program you with fear you know right. lack scarcity oh my god it's really the ultimate act of rebellion really conscious you know creation right and they're trying to tell us there's no money left there's going to be recession all these things Guys, there's the same amount of money there's ever been. Yeah. There's abundance everywhere. <laughs> it's your perception again. It all it's comes the down frequency. To yeah. You can go down this train track or that train track. Right. Choose. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Which exactly. narrative are you believing? Absolutely. Right. Rock stars, we could be here for another hour. You know, I could right. go get a coffee. We could come back and do some more of this. I love this conversation. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in, for being willing to share yeah. here today, for all of your wisdom, That's for awesome. putting together this rad program, uh, for coming here on the podcast. Highly recommend you guys uh, tune in, connect with Kendra and Jenny Wise. I'll put all the links here below. And um, have a rad day, rock stars. Thank you for yeah, tuning yeah. in. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.